You know what you want to do in life. That readiness to take on the world is in you. The fire burns. Well, to do it, you must have management over your money. How does one even do that? Well, first things first, figuring out what your average monthly overhead is and creating a budget. Do you have what it takes to make the right left to you? If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel for videos to educate, entertain, and enlighten. What is an average monthly overhead? Hell, what is an overhead? Overhead is the ongoing operation expenses to maintain a business and or sustain a personal life over the course of a month. The real easy way to figure out a proper average monthly overhead is go to your bank, ask them to print out the last 12 months, and then as you go through and you allow the statements to actually create your budget columns, you're going to break down each expense into its own column based on what you see. This helps create an organized budget for later, because the truth is we can't figure out one's budget without first understanding our average monthly overhead. A budget and budgeting are two different things. A budget is a list of expenses and their caps. And budgeting is keeping track of your expenses and staying within or under those caps. These ideas are skills which can be learned. Creating habits to record these expenses into a phone app, maybe even a computer or spreadsheets, is a skill that must be honed to see success come to you. And of course, saying no when you are close to your cap or hitting your cap on your expenses is a successful trait that you should start adapting and creating habits for. Moreover, as you develop your skill to budget in real time, you'll be able to adjust caps on the fly because adding to and subtracting from the value of a particular column is an important skill to acquire. Ooh, helpful tip time. Wow. Charge everything to one specific bank account. We'll call this one your safety net. A safety net is a dedicated account to paying your expenses. This account should have between three and 18 months of your average monthly overhead within it. The purpose of this is to keep track of your expenses easier. At the end of each month, you can look through your app or spreadsheet and say, what did I personally record? Because you should still be recording your expenses as a habit growth and also knowing your numbers is important. But then you could cross-reference it with your bank statements and say, oh, you know, I forgot this one, or I didn't realize I got charged $1.50 for, you know, bank expense or card use, things like that. Another thing you could do is you can have your safety net account and you can have an additional account, which is your spending account. So instead of focusing on one account, if you feel you have bad spending habits in the beginning, make sure your safety net has three to 18 months in it, that's the goal. But always take a month out and place it into a spending account. This account is dedicated to your monthly average overhead because if you can only spend $2,500 a month, that account should only have $2,500 a month because now you can't spend more than it because you're limiting yourself. These are creating spending habits and it's also showing you how to restrain yourself. Thank you for watching uh, this video and supporting these traveling adventures of a resilient entertainer. Please like, comment, and share, along with subscribing for future content. This is indeed an interactive series, and I will happily respond to productive questions within the comments section below. And for those who are deciding to share the video, please at Thomas J. Beleza and I will happily share your content in return. And as always, don't work too hard, but be productive. Peace and harmony, my friends. Do you have what it takes to make a right left here? Uh, do ya? Oh, uh, do ya, punk? Do you have what it takes? These are questions I often ask myself. Oh dear.